Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect your PlayStation 5 controller to a Windows computer. And the steps in this video are pretty much the same across whether you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now, if you're looking for the written instructions on how to get this done, you can find a link to my website in the video description. The three methods. One is the wired method, which is super easy to get done, no problem. Um, the second and third method are actually both wireless, but each one is unique. So the uh, first wireless method is mainly for Steam support, uh, which works pretty easily. And then the third version is uh, unsupported officially from Sony, but I'll teach you how to kind of get it connected and working with most other third-party applications. So the first method, which is to use a wire, is super easy. Just use this USB-C cable that came with your controller and plug it into the top. And of course, the other end goes into your computer. Now, depending on which kind of USB fitting you have in your computer, you might need to use just the wire that came with the controller, which is a USB-A fitting. Or if your computer has a USB-C fitting, you might need an adapter or something like this, which has like uh, multiple different size port fittings. So if you're not sure if, and you do need an adapter, just Google search for one and you can find one pretty cheap, no problem. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's almost like plug and play and you can start using it with whatever app you need to. Um, and now let's dive into the wireless method. Just keep in mind that the wireless method, both of them that I'm gonna cover just now, do require that your computer has Bluetooth capability. If your computer does not have Bluetooth capability, you can always buy a USB uh, Bluetooth adapter to compensate and it'll be good to go. Okay, first I want to put the controller into pairing mode. In order to do that, just simply press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button on the controller at the same time until the lights on the controller start to flash. When the light starts to flash, then you know it's in pairing mode. On your computer, press the Windows Start button or alternatively on your keyboard, press the Windows button and then the start menu will come up. And in the search box, start typing Bluetooth and one of the results should be Bluetooth and other device settings. Go ahead and select and open that one. From this menu, ensure that Bluetooth is set to on and select add device. In this pop-up window, select Bluetooth and add the device wireless controller. That's what the PS5 controller will be called. And now continue with this portion of the video, we're gonna connect up and start using Steam. So open up your Steam application and launch big picture mode from the icon at the top right of the window. In it, while in big picture mode, select the gear settings icon on the top right. Select controller settings under the controller section. And here you should see the PS5 controller under the detected controller section. If not, and you connected your PS5 controller for the first time and you just installed Steam, reboot your computer and try these steps all over again. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can kind of tweak some other things with the controller itself, but you can also adapt the controller for configuration in each individual game. So there is kind of a way to make this work with non-Steam games, although it's not guaranteed to work. Steam has a functionality in which you can add games from your local computer and add it to the library locally, not on the cloud. Um, so you can give that a try. I'm not gonna show you how to get that done. That's not the purpose of this video. You can always Google search how to add non-Steam games app to Steam, and then hope that the PS5 controller will be compatible with those other games. Okay, so now we're gonna cover the last method, which is still using Bluetooth wireless connectivity, so ensuring that your Bluetooth connectivity is still set up. Um, but this method is designed because Sony, for some reason, will not have native support to work with you know, other applications within Windows. They've had this problem since PlayStation 4 and I have no clue why, it's just them kind of being stubborn. The problem here is that, uh, of course, Microsoft does really well with Xbox controllers, so this method is gonna make your computer tricked into thinking that your PlayStation 5 controller is actually an Xbox controller. So to do this, first we need to visit the DS4 Windows website. I'll put a link to that website in the video description. And keep in mind that this method also works for the PS4 controller. You can find a link to that video on how to get that done. Uh, video link is in the video description. The DS4 Windows website layout does get changed here and there just a little bit, but you're basically, as of today, looking for something that says Initial Installation and Setup Guide. On this new page, notice that the prerequisites, especially .NET 5.0 for Windows. The developer included a link to the Microsoft site to download .NET 5.0, but the interesting thing is that version 5.0 is end of life, and as of this video posting, 6.0 is the current supported version. Now I tried installing and using version 6.0, but it does not work with DS4 Windows. You must use version 5.0, so proceed with that. Then you're gonna go back to the DS4 Windows website and then download the latest version of DS4 Windows and uh, extract it if you're getting the zip file. And in the extracted folder, you're gonna run ds4windows.exe. During the installation process, you'll be asked where to install it. I selected program files, but it's really up to you. After the process completes, ensure your PlayStation 5 controller is still connected to Windows using Bluetooth capability. 
And now you're going to open ds4windows.exe again. This time you'll be prompted to install Vigman Bus Driver. I have no idea how to pronounce it. But anyway, the other options in this menu are optional, but you can read through them for yourself because they might not be applicable to you. I didn't have to use them. And that's pretty much it. DS4 Windows should detect your PS5 controller. If for any reason it doesn't, you might have to reboot your computer. I ended up having that issue once I rebooted, it worked just fine. Going back to the DS4 program, there's gonna be in this window a little button that says edit. Uh, on this pop-up window, I select yes to use the default profile. You can change that, you don't have to follow my steps there. And then you can choose to mimic the PS4 or Xbox 360 controller. Xbox settings tend to work better with most games on Windows, so I just choose Xbox as my preferred default. On this new screen, you can configure almost everything, including the sensitivity of the joysticks. It's actually pretty wild how much you can uh, customize here. And that's pretty much it, you're done. The easiest thing to do to test DS4 Windows if it's working or not is just open the Windows settings menu. Um, before DS4 Windows, you couldn't navigate anything with the PS5 controller. And with DS4 Windows working, I'm able to navigate it with the controller as I'm doing right now. And that's pretty much it. So those are the three methods to connect a PlayStation 5 controller to Windows. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out my social links and website in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.